A long, peaceful walk, all within the city, with crags to climb, lakes to cross, and caves to discover. Beautifully manicured gardens, Buddhist and Taoist idols, classical bridges, and trees that grow out of water. This is Drone and Phone, and today we're walking the Seven Star Crags. Welcome to Drone and Phone, the show where I take my trusty drone here and the phone that I'm filming with you right now and show you some of Asia's best one day outdoor adventures. Today is the last in the series from Zhao Qing. I've got up very early to come and visit the Seven Star Crags. Also managed to borrow a new drone after last week's adventures. Let's get going. The much overlooked Jiaoqing district is just four hours on the train from Hong Kong, three hours on the bus from Shenzhen and an hour and a half from Guangzhou International Airport. The ancient city built along the West River is a great starting point for exploring rural China and in this series we bring you five one-day adventures that can be accessed from the city. Known locally as the Mini Guilin, the Seven Star Crags is the easiest of all activities to access. The city surrounds the park and there are three gates on different sides you can access from. Named after the seven crags that the park is built around, the eight square kilometre comprises of small strips of land linked by walkways across five lakes. Well, this is a very pleasant morning stroll. I got up very early. I got here for sunrise this morning, but unfortunately, just as the sun was about to rise, a fog came in right the way across the whole park, but it gives it a nice atmosphere all the same. Just got one more thing to do to get up the main peak here, which I'll be climbing in about half an hour. If you get up early as I did, it's easily covered in half a day, giving enough time to leave to other destinations after you've finished. Given the other adventures in this series, it probably ranks as the least adventurous, so a good one to start or finish your trip with, but not to be missed. The gardens are immaculately kept and extensive, given that you walk there from the centre of the city. Whatever it's a workout you're looking for, this is definitely the hill to climb. This is the tallest point on the Seven Star Crags, and I'm just coming to a pavilion at the top now. Well, that brings to an end our Jiaoqing series. It's been a pretty nice morning, though the weather's not been fantastic. I'm standing here at the tallest point of the Seven Star Crags, and you can see fantastic views all around. Now, if you like this show and you never want to miss an episode, please like our Facebook page on facebook.com forward slash drone and phone. You can also find all of our previous episodes nicely catalogued on droneandphone.com. My name is DJ Clark, and this is Drone and Phone.